some strong influences uh, in your development through the junior ranks? Oh, through the junior ranks. So a big one that stands out, I guess, for me was at the Giants, uh, John Quinn. So I think you've had John on the show, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he was a big... His name's probably popped up uh, oh, most, I reckon. Now. Yeah, yeah. So as you know, a legend. And he was a big influence and mentor and still is um, for me. What was, you know, harder in the American program from a strength and conditioning point of view compared to GWS and, and, yeah, and what was harder in the GWS program compared to um, preparing as a punter? Yeah, so the biggest thing is the style of coaching. So here in Australia, I feel like we have like two-way communication. It's not like, you know, you can be like, oh, like, why are we doing that? Like, you know, um, the communication on, on is, yeah, it's a lot better. In America, it's, it's very authoritarian. Like, you right. just do this um, and that's, that's what I said and you'll do it. So that's not uh, a conversation. Or- no, no. And um, yeah, that's just the way it is. It's, it's yes, sir. It's not, oh, yeah, thanks, mate. It's yes, sir. Um, so yeah, the different styles of coaching is definitely the biggest. And then, yeah, it was all power based. So lifting heavy. What are your, your favorite three kicks that you, do you think developing kids, like you said, they're learning? learn the, the good habits first um, yeah. the fundamentals um, yeah so that's that's a good point because like um there are lots of tip, different types of kicks in afl and that's what makes kicking so hard um and and my big thing is okay let's let's practice them let's do them like i, I don't like when coaches say straighten up straighten up and kick you know yes there's a t- time for that but there's gonna be times when you're gonna have to kick around your body it's like, okay, let's practice that. So I'm big on that. Um, it's not about taking away kicks. It's about having this big arsenal of kicks and, and practicing in them. Um, yeah, obviously, you've got to be more consistent if you keep everything straight. And I think 100% do that with goal kicking. Like, don't get me wrong. Unless you need to add some distance. Like, you, it's natural to hook the ball, create more torque in your hips. Um, take us through how the creation of the kicking consultant came about. Yeah, so... Like I said, I'd, I'd love biomechanics. Um, goes back, yeah, ever since I was a kid, um, I either wanted to play for an AFL team or work for one. Um, and like I mentioned, I um, yeah, thought I wanted to work with elite athletes. And then I've just kind of found like, you know, I want to provide elite level coaching to, you know, to the non-professionals or those, you know, trying to get to that next level. Because like I said, it's something I would have liked. Um, and I want people to have a better career than I did. I wish I knew then what I knew now about not only like um, kicking, but just everything else to go with footy. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of saw that. Um, there was just, it's just not, it wasn't around. Um, you know, we have, we have oh, I'm a punting coach. Like, what, why is there a punting coach in Adelaide but not a kicking coach? I mean, there are some um, people doing it, but... Um, yeah, it's just like there's that there's that need. There's um, that's it's my I, I want to say expertise. Like you know, I've literally spent six years just kicking a ball. What are some different cues that you commonly use to help with athletes improving their kicking ability and with wet weather? What you yeah, that's actually a great question. Um, great point. Because um, sometimes it is just like just slam it on the boot and, and just hope for the best. Um, you know, yeah. surge footy, get it forward. Um, I think a big thing you can't do is try to like hook it too much. Anything that's going to get that, you know, slicing the ball, um, that's probably the biggest thing. So making sure you're kicking through the line of the ball, which I like to teach in like, if I'm, we're kicking a straight anyway, kick yep. through the line of the ball, um, point your toe where you want the ball to go. Um, and that's, yeah, pretty big in when it's wet because anything that's slicing the ball is, you know, it's going to come, it's going to slip off. Yeah, makes sense. Cool. That's good. And what would be some common mistakes that you see when you're working with teams or, um, you know, uh, more from an athlete point of view? So what are some common mistakes that athletes are making when it comes to kicking? I think not practicing it enough, um, not practicing it in the right situations, not practicing it under fatigue, under pressure. And like I said, they might just get stuck in kicking the ball straight. And it's like, no, like there's going to be times where you kick around the corner. Um, things like that um you know for goal kicking i think 
the, the whole, the whole run up thing. I see people doing that. And I'm just like, 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 why, why do we do that? And again, that's like, I learned from punting. Like you, we kicked off two steps. We kicked it 55 meters off two steps. It's like, you don't need a massive run up. Let's just, you know, make the process easier on us. 